So hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm Chris and I'm a doctor currently working in dermatology based in the west of Scotland. So in this video, um, it's going to be pretty unscripted, unfiltered. There is probably no fixed topic that I'm going to talk about. So feel free to skip this entire video if you are wanting something educational because it's probably not going to be educational. Um, simply because I'm on call this weekend for dermatology and I don't have a specific video to film. I've been making videos, uh, one video each week, and I just didn't want to break the cycle. So in this video, I'm just going to share some of my thoughts, feelings about what's been happening in my life um, on a Sunday afternoon whilst on call. Um, I've written a few notes in my MacBook to point me in the general direction, but a lot of this would be pretty unscripted. So what is on call like for dermatology? So in the west of Scotland, well firstly, not all regions in the UK have dermatology on call out of hours. So west of Scotland um, is one of the few regions in Scotland that does on call. Um, as um, dermatology on call, you are basically working from 9 o'clock in the morning from Saturday to Monday 9 o'clock. A lot of people think that you don't really get calls for dermatology, but you'll be surprised by the number of calls you may be called about. And dermatology on call is a non-resident on call, so it means that you don't have to um, go to the hospital and stay in the hospital for the set amount of time. You can leave the hospital, you can be at home, but you do need to go to the hospital if someone is unwell and uh, who needs to be reviewed by dermatology. So yesterday there was a planned uh, review um, from us um, in the pediatric unit um, in the children's hospital in the west of Scotland. So quite interesting uh, because I don't really have much exposure to um, children and because I've not done my uh, rotation in paediatrics yet. So I had to review a, a four-year-old patient who um, had a flare-up of her eczema. And on top of that, she had a um, um, inf viral infection as well, which made it more complicated. So, and then on the same day, um, I was called to see a pregnant woman of 17 weeks pregnant who presented in the department with this widespread itchy rash all over her body. So it's quite interesting, you know, you, as a dermatology on call, you never know um, when you get called and who you get to see. Um, and then of course you work quite closely with the consultants who are all very nice and supportive. So I had a haircut uh, today at the hairdresser and the hairdresser told me something quite interesting, you know, um, he he's now fully booked, you know, f um, for the next two weeks, and I only managed to get this slot uh, because I booked pretty early, and also I had known him for quite some time already. So he told me that you know, since lockdown, pretty much um, the hairdressers have been closed, uh, but they still have to pay rent, and so it's like you still you are still um, having to fork out money to pay rent even though you have no income so it's quite a scary thought and I count myself quite fortunate to be in a position where I'm still working and it makes me realize that every single job is difficult oh the other thing was so Morrison in case you don't know is one of the big supermarkets in the UK and I go to Morrison each week to get my weekly supply of groceries and it seems like for the past weeks to months on end um, weekly shopping has been my outing kind of of the week because other shops are closed so you, you can't go to cinemas you can't go to musicals you know you can't go to normal shops because they are all closed so non-essential shops are closed because of lockdown so the only places that are open are pharmacies hospitals supermarkets the essential ones so after some time it can be quite boring every time you go to the supermarket to get your 
weekly groceries only to realize okay it's the same thing over and over again so i'm actually quite looking forward to the fact that lockdown is going to be easing soon and that we can go and meet people outside we can go and have food in restaurants um, outside perhaps more so in england i'm not sure about uh, Scottish rules yet and the last thing I want to talk about is my YouTube channel so I've been trying to grow my YouTube channel uh, by creating videos on various topics including dermatology including my medical career my move uh, to the UK but I just wonder you know where the direction will be I've asked a few friends to see you know what they think about my YouTube channel and it's quite interesting because um, some of them suggested making more uh, TikTok videos to so make it more viral and fun. Um, other people suggest, you know, trying to um, make videos that appeal to the wider audience. So if you have any thoughts of videos that I can make, you know, do drop me a comment down below and I can try to make them. So there you have it. That is the end of this random video of randomness. Um, if you like this video, which I don't know if you do, um, please let me know. Um, and if you have any ideas on what sort of videos I can make for the future, again, do drop me a comment um, down below. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.